hello, good evening and welcome to this evening's outdoor service. My name is Pauline Cummins and I welcome you to the Common Worship Evening Prayer. It's lovely to be outside in God's creation and feel the wind on my face. But Lord, we just thank you that you have made this world so wonderful for us. So while we are in God's creation, let us be still in his presence. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. In your resurrection, O oh Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Sovereign Lord, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. To you be glory and praise for ever. From the deep waters of death you brought your people to new birth by raising your son to life in triumph. Through him dark death has been destroyed and radiant life is everywhere restored. As you call us out of darkness into his marvellous light, may our lives reflect his glory and our lips repeat the endless song. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever that this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Psalm 36, verses 5 to 10. With you, O God, is the well of life. Your love, O Lord, reaches to the heavens and your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness stands like the, like the strong mountains, your justice like the great deep. You, Lord, shall save both man and beast. How precious is your love and mercy, O God. All mortal flesh shall take refuge under the shadow of your wings. They shall be satisfied with the abundance of your house. They shall drink from the rivers of your delight. For with you is the well of life, and in your light shall we see light. O oh, continue your loving kindness to those who know you, and your righteousness to those who are true of heart. With you, O oh God, is the well of life. O God, the well of life, make us bright with wisdom that we may be lightened with the knowledge of your glory in the face of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Our scripture reading this evening is taken from Revelations, John's letter of Revelation, Chapter 21, verses 22 to chapter 22, verse 5. I saw no temple in the city, for its temple is the Lord God the Almighty and the Lamb, and the city has no need of sun or moon to shine on it, for the glory of God is its light, and its lamp is the Lamb. The nations will walk by its light and the kings of the earth will bring their glory into it. Its gates will never be shut by day and there will be no night there. People will bring into it the glory and the honour of the nations. But nothing unclean will enter it, nor anyone who practices abomination or falsehood, but only those who are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Then the angel showed me the river of the water of life, bright as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb through the middle of the street of the city. On either side of the river is the tree of life with its twelve kinds of fruit, producing its fruit each month, and the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. Nothing accursed will be found there any more, but the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it, 
and his servants will worship him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads, and there will be no more night. They need no light. Of, they need no light of lamp or sun, for the Lord God will be their light, and they will reign for ever and ever. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. He has become my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is my light. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Hallelujah. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promises of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, Abraham and his children, forever. And that comes from Luke chapter 1, verses 46 to, 40, to 55. We come now to a time of prayer. So let us be still before God. On this day that the Lord has made, let us pray for the people he redeemed. That we may live with those who believe in the triumph of the cross. That all people may receive the good news of his victory. That those born to new life in the waters of baptism may know the power of his resurrection. That those who suffer pain and anguish may find healing and peace in the wounds of Christ. That in the undying love of Christ we may be united with all who have died in the faith of Christ. Let us commend the world in which Christ rose from the dead to the mercy and protection of God. We pray for peace. We commend to you, O Lord, those who we know and love, and for those in despair and darkness, that they may find the hope and light of Christ. We pray for prisoners and captives around the world and in our country, that they would find safety and sanctuary and in you. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We have a time of silence where we just pray for all those who we know and love, who are sick and ailing at this time and who are finding life really difficult. God, our Redeemer, you have delivered us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. Grant that, that as by his death he has recalled us to life. So by his continual presence in us, we may, he may raise us to eternal joy through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. As our service concludes this evening, just a final few words. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Have a restful evening and God bless.